Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a material that absorbs over 99.5% of visible light and infrared light. In a previous video, I've shown you the world's blackest paint called Musso Black. Because of the amazing absorption qualities of this paint, it basically turns things into a shadow. But today I'm going to be showing you something even darker than Musso Black. Now it's not a paint, but it's something they call a flock sheet. It's kind of like this velvety material that comes on a roll. You can see on the graph here how much darker these flock sheets are than Musso Black. Musso Black is this pink and the pink dotted line depending on how you paint it. And the two flock sheets are the yellow line and the black line. Needless to say, both of these flock sheets are extremely black. They absorb almost all light and one of them even absorbs almost all infrared light as well. <laughs> Look at this note. Become a ninja. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's unroll this here. Oh, this is like a huge sheet of it. <laughs> Whoa. Now look at this. Look how black this is. Okay, now this stuff is black. Look at this. can completely edit myself out of this video. <laughs> that is so cool. It's just a black square. So watch when I stick this ball under here. You can't even tell that it's under there. <laughs> Let's try a bigger one like a basketball. So it kind of messes up the straight lines of the fabric, but you can't tell that there's a bump here at all. So now I can make those instant holes in the wall that you see in cartoons. Hello. Hello. Okay, here goes the test if the hole works. Three, two, one. Whoa, it worked. This is so cool. Look what happens when I put it on my floor here. <laughs> Just this huge hole in the floor now. Okay, here I go. Three, two, one. <laughs> see, but the problem with this black hole here is that it only absorbs visible light. It looks black, but it's not very black in the infrared spectrum. Let me show you using an infrared camera. Okay, so here's what it looks like with regular light, and here's what it looks like with only infrared light. So you can see when I shine my infrared lasers from my iPhone here, using the LiDAR on the back of it, that you can see the grid pattern on the wall. But look how visible it is on the regular Musso black flock sheet. So you can easily still see the pattern here so that it's reflecting really well back to the camera. Now finally, let's open the one up that absorbs visible light and infrared light now. Now this looks even more black. So believe it or not, this is actually darker than Musso Black. It's darker than the Musso Black visible light absorbing flock sheet. So this is actually the darkest sheet that I've had yet. So this is absorbing over 99.75% of all visible light right now. And what's even cooler is that it should absorb over 99.5% of infrared light as well. All right, so let's compare both of these now. So which one of these looks darker? This is the visible light absorbing flock sheet and this is the infrared absorbing plus visible light absorbing flock sheet. Absorbs over 99.75% of all light. So in real life, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this one looks a little bit darker than this one. I'm not sure if I can actually tell the difference or it's in my head. I'd have to do a double blind test to actually tell, but I think this one is a little bit darker and it should be. This is a really weird illusion. It looks like I'm walking around spheres, but these are actually flat discs. So now let's do our infrared test on this with my infrared lasers with my LiDAR on my phone. All right, so I've got my infrared camera set up. Okay, so look at the difference here. There's a huge difference between these. The source of the infrared light is coming from the camera itself. It's emitting infrared light and it's recording the reflection of the infrared light. So this one's an unimpressive gray and this one is completely black. There's a huge difference here. Way more than I thought I was gonna see. 
If you're wondering why I keep looking down is because the only way I can see what's happening or what's on camera is if I look at the screen that's showing what's on the camera. Now let's see what happens when I get my infrared lasers out. You can see it reflect pretty easily here and nothing on that one. Look at the difference, that is so cool. I don't see any reflection whatsoever. That is the weirdest thing. It's literally a hole in the wall. Nothing is reflecting off of that whatsoever. That is so cool. It literally looks like I've edited this spot out of my film. It looks like I took a circle and just cropped it out and I just didn't let anything show right there. But that's real life, that's what it really looks like. That is so weird. So I wasn't able to pick up any reflection from this darkest IR absorbing flock sheet. That may lead you to question, well, does that mean you could get past motion detectors with this flock sheet? What if you just draped it over you? Would you not trigger a motion detector? Well, let's try it out and see if you can actually avoid being detected on an IR motion detector with this IR absorbing flock sheet. What I'm using here is a little snap circuit setup that I have. This is the infrared detector here, and if it sets it off, it'll set off an alarm here. So let's turn it on. All I have to do is slightly move by it, and it sets off the alarm. Let's try it without the flock sheet. Okay, so there's no chance of getting by this. As soon as I do any movement by it, it sets it off. Now let's try it when I'm draped in this flock sheet here. Okay, here I go. I'm doing it. Oh, it went off. <laughs> okay, so that did not work whatsoever. So why didn't it work? This is an infrared sensor. This doesn't reflect hardly any infrared light whatsoever. Well, the reason is because of how infrared sensors work. They're just looking for any change in infrared light whatsoever. So it's just sensing any infrared light coming into that. If that dips below or above some level, it's gonna set off the alarm. So even though you come across with a sheet that's completely absorbing the infrared light in the room, that still changes the available amount that's being reflected back to it. So it drops below the value and so it sets off the alarm. Okay, now we're gonna see how much light this can actually absorb when I shine my 100,000 lumen light on it. So we're gonna see how much it absorbs and it should increase in temperature by a lot because it's not only absorbing the visible light from the LED lights, but it's also absorbing the infrared light that it's giving off as well. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa. Oh man, look how hot that's getting. Right, got, we got to 121 degrees Celsius, it looked like. So you could literally boil water on this right now. That is crazy how hot that got. No, I am not in space. I just have my sheet behind me that absorbs all light. Thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe yet if you haven't hit the subscribe button. And you can also hit the bell to be notified when I release my latest video. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab experiment boxes. And you can check out my experiment book on Amazon as well. The link's in my description. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.